Hello, in this video we'll talk about the blood-brain barrier. We know that our brain is surrounded by blood vessels which supply our brain with oxygen and nutrients. Blood-brain barrier is a physical barrier between the brain and the blood. There are cells and molecules which forms this barrier and in this video we'll look at this part in details. But let me tell you that blood-brain barrier prevents any random solutes or pathogen in the circulating blood from entering the brain. You might be thinking how this is useful. Let me tell you that blood-brain barrier is a protective mechanism that we have. In this video it would be really clear. So the blood-brain barrier restricts the passage of pathogens, harmful metabolites, toxins and large hydrophilic molecules inside the brain and thereby creating a selectivity filter. Now let us look at the blood-brain barrier from a different angle. Here you can see these are the capillary endothelial cells which lines the capillary wall. These are the astrocytic end feet that means these are the projections of the astrocytes and these are pericytes. All these cellular components are really important to understand the blood-brain barrier. So now we are going to zoom into one of these junction of the capillary endothelial cells. Now we can see there are several junction molecules which are present in between two capillary endothelial cells. There are a bunch of transporters which are also present. Blood-brain barrier allows the diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide, some hormones and nonpolar molecules. Now let us only focus on the capillary endothelial cell and forget about the astrocytic end feed for a moment. So here we can see tight junction exists between these endothelial cell and this tight junction is the key molecular component of the blood-brain barrier. Now there are several transporters which are also present in the endothelial cells which allows the transport of important substances such as glucose to the brain. Other transporters can allow influx of several ions inside the brain. Now <coughs> let us try to understand how this blood-brain barrier is important for our brain. The blood-brain barrier restricts the passage of several immune cells, antibodies and many other immune factors such as cytokines and thereby preventing our brain from harmful effects of immune activation. So one can understand that brain is kind of immune privileged. Now let us zoom into the junction between two capillary endothelial cell and try to understand the selectivity filter or the tight junction in bit more details. So the tight junction is formed of two major proteins, occludin and claudin. There are many subtypes but we, but we are not going to get into that much details. Now these claudin and occludin proteins are crucial for this tight junction formation. This junction is so tight that even water molecules or small ions cannot pass through this. There are specific proteins such as ZO1 and ZO2 which are zonula occludens protein which associates with the claudine and occludin proteins. There are also another type of protein which is known as junction associated molecule or JAM. These are also associated or found in, adhere in uh, tight junctions. Now all these molecules are actually linking to the cytoskeletal element on either sides of the cells and thereby forming a very tight junction which don't even allow a small molecule to pass through and thereby the selectivity filter is created and this creates the stringency in terms of passage of certain molecules from the blood to the brain. Now let me tell you that blood-brain barrier is implicated in many diseases such as ALS, epilepsy, brain trauma and many other neurodegenerative diseases as well. Now one thing we should understand at this point that not all the vessels in the human brain exhibit blood-brain barrier like properties. In fact in choroid plexus in the circumventricular organ there are blood vessels which are somewhat leaky. So here I'm going to introduce two terminologies blood-brain barrier and blood CSF barrier. The idea between both this barrier is to prevent entry of harmful substances into the brain. 
but the difference exists between these two barriers. Blood brain barrier is a endothelial barrier, whereas the blood CSF barrier is an epithelial barrier. So it really matters where is the tight junction located. Here the tight junction is located in the endothelial cell in case of blood brain barrier, whereas it is situated in the epithelial cells in case of blood CSF barrier. In order to know more about blood CSF barrier, you can click on the video which is in the I button. But this video pretty much summarizes the structure, anatomy and the functions of blood brain barrier. You can get a notes in my Facebook page. The link is provided in the description. So don't forget to check it out. Anyway, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, support my channel and Patreon. My courses are present in Unacademy, which is India's biggest online learning platform. Using my code AP10, you can get a 10% discount. If you wish to connect to me, you can follow me on several social media. And for see you in next time.